Uh, good morning from Galaxy Con San Jose. Sunday, last day. Uh, I'm running about half an hour late, about an hour late. So we're gonna have some uh, quick oatmeal for breakfast and then get going. Not your peepaw. Did I miss you with every round so far? Is that a compression shirt? Yes. Because we're doing the astronaut stuff today. That's Belmont. Hello. Can't Starbucks this morning. I'm just not wearing a Hawaiian shirt. It's lazy. I'm, I'm gearing up on my astronaut stuff, man. It's a workout, putting all this gear on. Really pop kind of drink, I guess. Good morning. Just, just getting the day started. That's not a spoon. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Did I run out of spoons? Okay. How late is it in the US? Uh, we got three time zones. And then at the last day, I usually forget in Hawaii, uh, three continental time zones. So it's 10.30. Pacific Standard Time, and it's gonna be like what 1:30 East Coast. getting here in California. Good morning. Yes. Late morning because I was up to like 2.30. Now we're out of the back of my truck and some quick oatmeal and some coffee before running over to the convention center. Oatmeal. It's like the last of my breakfast stuff. I had used to have the breakfast bars. Ate all those. I bought burgers. It's kind of in a hurry. I didn't get the toppings, and then um, I forgot to hit any breakfast up in my camping gear. Just like, man, like they have oatmeal. Or I don't know, they're uh, Quaker instant oatmeal single packs. It's not beer, it's maple syrup. I have pancake mix, but the pancake mix I bought requires uh, eggs and milk, so I'm just like, uh, I guess I won't have any of that. That's a little, that's a little more involved than I want to do cooking out of the back of my truck. <gasps> Mommy Koenig, hello. And Kenny. 
Looks so good. Um, as far as instant breakfast go, they're pretty good. So anytime I see the um, the Quaker oatmeal instant packs in the back of the grocery store, all smashed, so they're half off, I, I snag them and just throw them in my camping kit because um, I take them out of the boxes and put them in this little plastic tray I have for storage. So I don't need the box. So, these little guys. You really need like your, like your your protein and your fat to start the day. So it's just like a really quick, cheap breakfast to have something. That's a weird thing to say. Ooh, the banana nut's a good one. I like the banana nut and the uh, brown sugar cinnamon. The apple's okay. And then the, the variety pack usually has walnut, and I'm like, not a fan of the walnut. There's a strawberry one, which just looks like, you'd, you'd think it'd be really good, but it's like, it's not that good. <laughs> Apple Cinnamon, So I usually like to toss in like a little bit of maple syrup into the oatmeal. Gives you that sweetness and that little bit of kick. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my dinner live last night with Koenig where I made um, uh, truffle burgers. Need some truffle sauce. We're, yeah, we're by the, the airport. So I, I did like a, a taste test sampling of all these uh, Linda's hot sauces because they came in these cute little containers and they were like $1.25 and then half off. So that's a steal. And the, the black truffle sauce was good, but I'm just like, I don't know what I'm going to use it on because like the, the flavor is like kind of unique. And I saw one of their, their TikToks, they made a black truffle burger, like black truffle and Swiss. And I was like, that looks darn good. So we, we made burgers last night with that. And it was turned out really good. They got a gourmet selection of cheeses, so we're pairing it up with different cheeses. I went with a uh, with a Havarti, and she went with pepper jack. Both turned out really good, but I could let the burgers cook for like another minute or two. They're a little on the um, the more medium side. How many times a week are you eating burgers? I haven't had burgers in a long time. I mean, smash burger on Wednesday. But it's easy to overland and cook out of the back of your truck at a convention, make burgers or dogs or something. Macrov isn't here yet. There he is. They're sending me in a space. We're gonna find their location. Say his name in the appears. Yeah, he's just like Beetlejuice. This for my uh, my astronaut cosplay. Are you actually going on a rocket or something? No, it's for my uh, my astronaut costume. A lot of people have commented like, "Oh my God, it must be so hot in that thing." 
I'm like, no, like, dude, these are pajamas from Target I bought on sale. And when I saw it, and it was like $60 half off or $80 half off, and I was like, oh my God, I could use that as the basis for an astronaut costume. So then I started going like to the Halloween online stores and buying like a little costume astronaut bits, wearing my, uh, my snow boots from the military. Another trick is to take the top of a bucket and cut that off and put some padding on here. And now we got the, uh, the, the, the neck ring for the helmet. And it's just a bucket. And nobody recognizes it as a bucket until you tell it to them and they're like, oh my God. The shirts are fire. Yeah, so we used to be able to wear them in the Marines, and then um, they were no longer authorized at a certain point because when you get caught on fire, those muscle shirts will, like, bind into your skin. And it's a gigantic mess um, if, you're, if you get caught in a fire or a vehicle crash or something. I mean, how That plastic will melt into your skin. And it's like a disaster on the, the medical side. So you only wear the cotton shirts and our uniforms have some flame retardant in them, but if you wash them too many times, they can't lose it. And then they have a frog suit, which you just wear that and that's flame resistant operation gear or something. I forget the, uh, the acronym on that. But the Doge mask, um, it used to be really hot, and I'd sweat in it, the latex mask, but I learned um, I'd wrap my head in a shemog and then put the mask on so I'm breathing into the shemog. So you can walk around all day breathing into this, right? So I, I wrap my head with the shemog, then put the, the Doge mask on. And I can walk around for like an hour or two and not get hot. So. And then um, it helps like to poof up the latex to make it look more natural rather than like it's sitting on the human head. Smart. It only took me, you know, years to figure that out. Like I started doing the, the Doge cosplay in 2016. And then I figured it out last year that if I wrap my head in the Shemog that I could breathe through that and then it makes the mask look better. Took me like six years to figure it out. <laughs> well, let me get out. oatmeal in a Starbucks cup then I'll toss it on the way to the convention so I'm not going to like dirty and eat dishes one of the worst things about like camping and overlanding is making dirty dishes and then transporting them back home and then washing them it's messy that bad though yeah if you're at home and your dirty dishes are at home it's a whole another thing to make dirty dishes when you're out somewhere then to pack them up and then bring them back in order to wash them all those, those dirty dishes with like food on them getting funky and then if you put them in your vehicle and you're and you're out for several days and, they, and they're getting funky in your vehicle then you gotta like put them in a bag or something or they gotta be in their own little plastic tray. Oh, 
I was walking by my house while texting. I have been like, I've been like walking the dog and the dog doesn't want to go back home. I want to keep going and like walk past the house and I wouldn't be paying attention. <laughs> Wait a minute. You don't want to go home? You want to go walk some more? Especially with the husky. It seems like the husky never wants to go home. You heard your dog barking away, that's my house. With my neighborhood as a kid it was built in the 50s as a subdivision so the houses are pretty big kind of spread apart and there's like some curves and stuff so it's like really hard to like not accidentally walk past your house but then the house I got when I started working was built in the 70s and like all the houses were like almost identical and they're closer together and they're on more straightaway more straightaways so and they're kind of set back so it's like really easy to like accidentally walk past your house and I'd recognize it because like the, the trees were different if I go for a for like a jog late at night I might accidentally run past my own house because all the houses look alike so I might have to like snap my attention to where I am like on that block to not accidentally run past it Oh, I didn't. E I didn't even post that video yet. But who are you gonna call? That's a good one. I think I'll post that. Um, probably when I get over to the convention before I put my Doge mask on, I'll post that video. It's a good one. But there's like some background noise, so I use one of the voice filters. And the, my voice comes out a little funky, but the, it sounds better. So I might just have to like roll with a, one of the voice changing sound filters for like the first time. Mm. Alicia, be cakey. You'll save me? From what? It's not uncommon. It's not uncommon to see the fire department down here in San Jose at the bigger conventions, but I haven't seen them uh, this whole weekend. I had one nerd come up to me and he's like, are you trying to do a Apollo or are you trying to do space shuttle? And I was like, well, it's kind of a mixture of both, but I'm trying to like, you know, make a moon landing suit. He's like, cause you got, you know, a space shuttle patch on, but you got some Apollo equipment, yada, yada, yada. I'm just like, yeah, I know. I'm just, this is a cheap costume that I've been working on. And I didn't have time to, to undo the space shuttle to put the other patch on because it's like sewn in like really good but I do have the other patch I wanted to put on which I'll show you guys I can find it
that's the patch I want to put on. Galaxy. Oh, I missed it. Uh, I'll have to download this and we'll come back and I'll post it. And I'll be in my, my spacesuit in the Galaxy. <sighs> Thank you. Um, what else can I do? I was saying if like over here, I didn't really need to like do a video on all my vintage cameras, but I have also like, these vintage tripods like the 1960s and they're all like aluminum and look space agey. So that goes with like my well, my Vietnam equipment. So I got like you no know, vintage cameras that are all like aluminum case and, and black. And so this goes like my Vietnam stuff and it goes with like my space stuff. And it kind of goes for like the 80s too. So when I'm doing like my 80s thing, I got like my 80s camera. Actually, I gave away my 80s camera, um, but this works. And then someone gave me this little um, this little doggy yesterday. So. Got to pack these. So, we need these. up leaving from reps in an hour oh all right so is it i guess it's faster shipping out maps because like the way i did it i went to maps and they did all the paperwork and the testing and stuff and then went home for a while and then we went we went back like months later uh we went to maps checked in and really quickly they threw us in a hotel room and the hotel room gave us like one dinner and then you're in the hotel room with your battle buddy and you got a phone and like nothing to do and then you wait to ship out and hop on a bus. Go to the airport and then fly out to uh, Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego. But I guess, you know, wherever you're going is wherever you're going. Are you going for your fiscal and you waivers too? Yeah, the, phys the physical is pretty awkward, and I cannot tell you the stuff they did on a TikTok Live. Let's see. It's just like 
all my batteries are dead. Last day of the con. You've heard some stories, yeah. Like the um, like the spreading part. I mean, like the the walking on your flat feet. You probably tell that story. Maybe. Filled the batteries. Yeah. I, I misplaced one because like I've got two of these and the other one was charged but I don't know where I put it uh, how are you today I got a backache but other than that um, should I have an easy day Got a tiny ice pack in my fridge. I can probably like put that on my back when I'm when I leave. Almost forgot a freaking badge. Pop it, prop it against the seat when you're driving. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, put it behind, wrap it in a, like a small towel, and, like put it back there. So I don't know what I get for the deluxe badge. I was supposed to get like a couple of free drinks or something, like a drink ticket, but I didn't. I don't know what the uh, the perk is for that. Maybe I was getting into like the parties or something, I don't know. They they weren't too clear on the, the tickets. And it was only like ten dollars more for the deluxe and I was like, yeah, whatever, I'll get it. Maybe I gas someone. I mean, it seems like the what like this convention's kind of new, unless like the uh, the schedule is not really clear. The the ticket, what you get for each ticket, is like not really clear. You need for the parties. Yeah, I figure like the um, like if you're underage and you bought a regular pass, you'd be able to do everything except for the adult stuff. I'm guessing the deluxe is for the adult stuff. What's GalaxyCon? <clears throat> More of a uh, space-themed convention for uh, for comic nerds and stuff. It's all the uh, space science fiction, and then it's more adult-themed, and they like serve alcohol like all over the place in the convention. And they had a eighteen-over cosplay contest and a uh, burlesque show, so just like. Hey, that's pretty cool. Um, I have I've not had like an adult themed uh, convention since like Dragon Con. Fanime kind of does it, but they've gotten less into it. And then Sack Anime kind of did it too, but it's like really not like that adult themed. Just like there's like you know like a hentai room at the convention. Then Dragon Con's more geared towards adults since it's in hotels, and you can just you know get a drink or food anytime. Should I even pack the Bluetooth? Room for events where minors can't get in. Um, there are a bunch of rooms where they're checking ID. So they they check for 18 and over and for 21 and over. So there's, there's rooms where you cannot get into if you're a minor. And there's rooms you cannot get into if you can't drink. So I'm just like, hey. 
That's new. It's new for me. But there's also family-friendly areas, but I haven't even been in there, so I don't know what's in there. Built. Bills and back pain. Your car still burning? What? I had a great job for like 13 years. Uh, so I wasn't broke for that period of time. But then the boss did some illegal stuff and screwed me out of that job. Ah, oh, shucks, I don't got my license, so you can't drive. Back pains and bills since 16. Ouch. Um, I had bills since I was 16. Wallet. Might need my wallet. I can grab that. Also packing one phone cord, one phone charger, and one phone. And I put my phone cord in this little thingy. Very frightening. Candy. Not seen you in a while. Got my Doge mask from 2014, so I've got to be pretty careful with this thing. It's 10 years old now. First time candy cane in one of my lives, I was like, Candy, that's a stripper's name. And then she's like, I'm 16.
<laughs> remember that. Okay, um, I got everything packed in my little astronaut backpack. And someone was throwing away a vacuum cleaner that was like white and white and red, I think. I like, like took all the vacuum cleaner parts off of it. So I've got like this little elbow and I got a hose that plugs into it. Um, I have no idea where the hose went. And then, but then the hose plugs into my chest piece and I got a little chest piece, which honestly I should like make it like connect onto the straps or the backpack rather than trying to make it like fit on here. I put magnets on here and I put magnets on the chest piece and like it would barely stay up. I think I'm putting Velcro, like sewing Velcro into here, but then like it's like such a big hassle. I have to put like soft Velcro on here and then hard Velcro on the box. So maybe I'll just like put like some carrot, like some cl binding clips on there, like plastic snapping clips and then like put them onto the backpack but I gotta reinforce the backpack so these straps don't rip out of it. You got a timeout. Who got a timeout? Okay, 65%. How's your day? It's just getting started. Okay, now I'm about an hour and 15 late to getting to the convention. Working on your mask. My dad walked in, saw me sewing the base in half with a bread knife. Of sawing. Well, that's definitely the wrong type of knife to be using. Surprise, you aren't burning in that suit. These are pajamas. It's, it's not like a Halloween costume that's going to be really uncomfortable. These are pajamas meant to be comfortable. That's what makes this costume work so well. Yeah, I, I saw these at Target in the discount section one time I was shopping there, and I was like, oh my god, I need to grab that and finally do an astronaut costume. And then I got like my Halloween store backpack. No boots. And um, I think I showed you guys the chest piece already. Kind of packed it up. So I gotta, I gotta figure out a good way to, heck in there, to like fit this here. So like, I, I put like some like lights and switches on it. Yeah, I guess I can just walk to the convention with you guys. Are you gonna end the live? I mean, I could walk to the convention with you guys before I put my mask on.
Tesco's in restaurant. Yeah. Oh, and then the, uh, I want to do some astronaut photos uh, in the parking garage because there's a couple spots where like the ceiling looks really cool. It's got sprayed with like a bunch of like uh, fire retardant stuff. It's probably not asbestos. Um, but with how old the building is, it might be. <laughs> Two months until I have a year of nut. I wonder if you get anything for that. Through TikTok. But I should send you the pink shirt I have. I don't know if you, uh, the medium would fit you. So I got one medium left and I got, um, I should have another pack of shirts coming in. I, I forget what I mailed off, but it's been a couple months and I mailed a uh, second set shop, a bunch of Marine Corps shirts and then maybe some more army shirts. So I should be getting some, uh, some greens in here pretty soon. Hope you have a good time today. I think so. The convention's pretty light. So it's like not like super crowded. So I'm not getting like uh, worn out and anxiety and stress from a massive crowd. But then also it's kind of concerning because I'm like, maybe GalaxyCon's not going to come back next year because they might not be making their money back. And they had a lot of big names show up too. But one of the things about um, Wait for this plane. So when they, when the conventions hire uh, someone to come on down, an actor or actress for like uh, doing autographs and photo ops and panels and stuff, there's like several ways they can get paid. And uh, they can get paid like a flat rate or they can get paid um, directly from their, their, from their photos and their autographs that they sell. So the convention might say like, um, we're gonna pay you 10, we're, we're gonna guarantee you $10,000. Like you're only gonna get paid from autographs. But if you don't sell $10,000 with autographs, we'll make the difference to make sure you get paid 10,000 just for the event. So depending how popular they are, they might be, if they make $20,000 in photos and autographs, it's like really worth it for them to show up to an event. But if they only sell like $5,000 of stuff, at least the convention will back it up, up to a certain amount. And then there's the times where the convention will just cover like the flight and the hotel and stuff and everything else is up on the, on the actor. So it might not be worth it if they don't like sell enough photos and autographs. So they might not come back in next year if it's not worth it to them. So with all the big names they signed for this convention, if these guys aren't getting compensated well enough, they might not come back for the next time. Then they'd like the convention flop, which I think that's what happened at a uh, big wow and possibly Silicon, but I'd look into some of my, uh, my friends here that run stuff to see why uh, silicon flopped.
Afraid to sell at conventions. Once I go to it, I'm getting, getting canceled. Oh no. Sounds of planes that close, I'd be concerned. Yeah. They are, they are close enough that you can read like all the numbers painted on them. airport then um I think it's about a mile away I'd have to like hop on like uh, Google Earth or something and see the difference between the San Jose airport and the San Jose convention center maybe two miles away Oh no, you're permanently socially scarred during COVID. Price and Booney. What brand? Um, it's the same brand as my Vietnam Booney. I'd have to, I'd have to look into that. Honestly, I should do a, a video on just that hat. I've done like several hat shaving videos, but I haven't like done like a, a showing off of that hat and the branding and stuff. Ooh, mom's in the chat. You feel for the people who live right next to the airport or the train tracks. So here's a cool background for like some space stuff. So a little later I'll come back and take a photo there or a photo here in the shade. This looks, ooh, that lighting looks pretty good. My sweetheart. Hi, Mom. I could probably just do it at TikTok here in the shade. An Aspen, too. So, Sunday morning, I expect it to be light, but. There's just a handful of people out here. And there's a doggy. Usually there's like a whole bunch of street vendors out here selling like hot dogs and stuff. see like one like way back there in the shade oh, ooh, and there's a husky he's pulling on the the harness
Slang is used. Uh, that's not even Gen Z slang, that's probably like millennial slang. What's the ding ding? It's the train, it's the, the light rail, whatever, whatever it's called, like Valley Transit Authority or something weird. <clears throat> All right, everybody, I'm gonna. Uh, put all the mask stuff on and, and move around somewhere. Probably move out front and uh, hold, the, hold the sign, but I'll be back. Light off. 